S of Earth, this is Gia Blazable from GamerFusion.com. What is going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly farm Vanguard Heroic Strikes. I've been getting the question every week, Laser, what do you recommend I should use for Vanguard Heroic Strikes? So I decided to make a video, kind of like a semi-series, where I'm going to tell you guys every week what you guys should be using to actually farm these Vanguard Heroic Strikes. So first of the bat, let's start off with the following. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you're you know, the premature cloak or, you know, bonds or whatever class item that you currently have for your character has increased Vanguard reputation. Of course, it's going to be very essential for anybody doing that to make sure you guys have that increased. Second of all, make sure that in your inventory, you have, this is the Crucible booster and this is the House of Judgment booster and you should have a vanguard booster and look guys it's magic vanguard booster up here boom and you should have one of these which is a vanguard booster uh which gives you rep for a for your fire team for two hours another tip i want to give you is make sure once you start you're ready to grind for those two hours the reason is remember every time you do a strike you're going to be getting reputation so every time you do one strike you get reputation you get more xp if you keep doing the strike, you get more XP. If you keep doing the strike, you get more XP. You guys get the gist. The more you do it, the more you're going to be able to get. So, what are the modifiers? They're always going to be important to pay attention to the modifiers. The main ones we want to focus on in Solar Burn, Small Arms, and the Juggler. So, ammo drops for your equipment, we equipped weapon. So, let's go ahead and jump in here and talk about a little bit about weapons. So, for my main concern, my main weapon that I would want to use here, is of course any weapon you know I, I would probably recommend the vision of conflicts i mean it's a pretty good weapon but i know not a lot of you guys have it so i'm going to mention a weapon that everyone should have in their arsenal and that is the Celis supercell fellas the Celis supercell is an effective weapon because it has a lot of really good stuff and features is one of my favorite weapons and one i definitely use a lot in pve just because it's so such a beast guys it has this one so it has the Celis supercell what does it do our projectiles have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. So that means if enemies are stacked together, you're going to be shooting multiple enemies at the same time. And then you have bolts from the blue. Double kills with this weapon, charge a small amount of super energy, and return ammo to your magazine. So not only are you building up uh, super energy, but you're also getting ammo back. So making this weapon a monster, guys, and I highly recommend you guys use this. If you, have, if you want to go ahead with the Vision of Confidence, you can go with that. But for the primary, I would highly recommend you guys use the Cell of Supercell. As far as the secondary, you could, you know, my Party Crasher is 335 with Solar Burn. But you could either do a Party Crasher, you know, kind of like a shotgun. You could do a Sniper Rifle with Solar Burn. I don't have one equipped. Or you could do a Fusion Rifle with Solar Burn. I wouldn't recommend any of, like, you know, like an Exotic on the second slot. The reason being why I wouldn't recommend something like the Black Spindle or anything like that is because, I don't know if you guys know, but this this right here, Small Arms, it reduces the damage that you output from your secondary and your, pretty much your heavy weapon. So, it buffs your primary, but it reduces the damage from the secondary and from your, you know, heavy ammo. So, make sure you guys keep that in mind. If you guys are going to be rocking or moving something like that, make sure you guys are constantly keeping in mind that, you know, Pretty much, you're going to lose damage if you put an exotic on here. Or, you know, if you don't put, you know, I mean, if you're going with a Vision of Confidence, you could definitely run an exotic, but it's not going to be outputting as much damage, even though if it's Solar Burn. So keep that in mind. As far as for the, uh, you know, your heavy, you could go with anything that's Solar Burn. Like you could go with this rocket launcher that's Solar Burn, or we have a um, MLG that's Solar Burn, kind of like this one, um, LMG, kind of, you know, the one you get from the raid. Or if you could go with the sword as well, the sword is pretty OP, which, uh, you know, you get the solar burn sword. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have still have your legends or sword. Or you could go pretty much with any heavy. Um, what I would recommend is definitely pick the LMG. It helps you not only kill bosses faster in the sense that you're able to counter the enemies plus the boss, but you're able to get that done. So as far as weapons, and I'm pretty sure everybody can match those type of weapons, but now... What type of role or what character is primarily dominant when you're using this? Of course, this week, the one that you're going to want to make sure you have, you're going to want to make sure you have a hunter. The reason why is because you're going to want the hunter to have, uh, you know, the golden gun. Why is the golden gun so important? Because, guys, if you have the Celestial Nighthawk, and you guys recall the Celestial Nighthawk is the one that gives you the ability 
to actually go ahead and kill an enemy right off the bat with one shot. But that one shot has so much massive power that it's going to automatically kill you guys, uh, automatically give you a bonus damage. So let's take a look at this Lesser Nighthawk. Uh, so we have the following. We have this one, which is called Big Game. Golden Gun Fires one shot delivers six time damage while granting Keyhole for over penetration. The cool thing about this is that it gives you six time damage plus its solar burn added to that. So you could pretty much one shot a, a, a you know, the, the Nightfall. You could pretty much run the Nightfall and kill a Scion with one Golden Gun shot right off the bat. Boom! Just by using the Celestial Nighthawk. But also make sure, guys, when you're doing that, you're running Deadeye. The reason why Deadeye is going to be so important is because it got a buff that not only gives you more power, but with the Celestial Nighthawk, the, you know, the Solar, and running Deadeye at the same time, that is a deadly combination. So make sure that if you're running in a fire team, at least one of you is rocking the Celestial Nighthawk. Now, keep in mind, it'd be amazing that all of you guys were hunters and all of you were rocking the Celestial Nighthawk and you guys were doing this all together. But if you're not, the other web, the other classes you could definitely use is you could use uh, the Titan class with the hammers and the self reds or, you know, um, or the Warlock. Either or work, but make sure at least one of you guys in your fire team is running a hunter to get this done fairly, fairly quickly. So that's all the tips I have for you guys today. Please make sure you guys, when you guys do this, you guys are running the boosters, you're running your class item, and you're not leaving as you do the strikes. You make sure you're going to be playing for those two hours so you get as much XP as you possibly can. And in at least 45 minutes to an hour, you should be able to get one range. So think of each booster. It's going to give you two packages per, uh, two packages for every two hours or every package booster that you use. And uh, you guys should be finding dandy. Let me know what you guys are hunting for. Are you guys hunting for the LDR, Shadow Price? What are you guys trying to get out of the Vanguard packages? Let me know these tips help you out if you have better configured your character. If it did, make sure you guys leave a comment and a like. And don't forget, guys, if you want to stay up to date to all things Destiny, make sure you keep it locked here on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.